Menu navigation, the bane of every developer's existence, right? So let's talk about that a little bit today. If you've just been making UI and you've been testing everything with your uh, mouse and keyboard, you probably haven't even thought about this uh, too much. But what happens if you only have a keyboard? Or for games, more importantly, what happens if you only have a controller? You don't have a good way to like cursor over a button and click it. So let's actually get rid of a bunch of the stuff that I've uh, done here in previous videos because it doesn't really matter anymore. I'm going to get rid of the code for it as well. And I'm just going to add in a bunch of buttons. So let's add in uh, just a handful of buttons like this. So uh, we just copy and paste a bunch of these things over and we kind of just place these on your screen uh, kind of willy-nilly in a bunch of different places uh, so that we can navigate between them. Because Unreal does a pretty decent job navigating between widgets uh, by default. So if we just place these kind of all over the screen like this, how are we going to navigate uh, between this. Well, first we need to talk about the concept of having focus. So let's actually make a separate button widget now that I think about it uh, to show you that concept. We make a, a widget here, user widget, and we'll call this uh, focus button. And all that this is going to do is it's going to have uh, a button inside of it. And then we'll go into the event graph and just kind of unclicked uh, make a event dispatcher that forwards this on clicked because that's what you do need to do if you make uh, a like, custom button like this so when we click this we just forward that event dispatcher to whatever parent might be listening to it every widget in your hierarchy is going to have this is focusable and that just tells unreal whether or not this widget itself can have focus on it there's a couple of different things that can give something focus when you change your input mode from uh, game only to UI only, which we'll actually do here in uh, the HUD when we uh, add it on constructs. We can get the player controller and we can set UI mode only. So set input mode to UI only. That gives us in a widget that we want to set the focus to. From there, navigation is about shifting that focus from one widget to another widget. So this uh, focus button, the reason that I made this is just for visual purposes mostly, because we have these functions on added to focus path and on focus lost or on removed from focus path. I like using on removed from focus path. So this is getting run whenever this gets added to the focus path, which means that whenever this widget or a widget that is a child of this widget gets focused on, this event will run. And whenever the focus gets set to something that doesn't include this widget at all anymore, this runs. So what we'll do is we'll get this button, uh, make sure it's variable, it already is, good. And we'll just set the color to uh, some value, like this when it is added to the focus path. And then we'll set it back to whatever it is by default, which we can get right here, uh, which is just white, I believe. So we just set it back to uh, white whenever we leave its focus for that button. This is mostly just for visuals, uh, so that you can kind of keep track of it during this video. Uh, so let's actually replace all of these with our focus buttons. So let's make a bunch of these instead and place those all around so that we can do our stuff. Now, by default, I'm going to set the focus to this one. So we just whenever we go to our input mode for UI, we set our focus to that focus button. And then when we play, you'll see that it doesn't actually do that yet. And that is because while the button inside of this uh, will by default be set to being focusable, the widget itself uh, has a default value of not being focusable. So 
we set that to being focus mode and then we could even say hey when we focus on this we actually want to focus on the button inside of it that way we can easily click on the button with like a confirm now if you already have any of these buttons added you might find that they still have is focusable uh set to being false uh, but now if i add a new one it should have focusable set to true so you just need to go in and set these to being focusable uh, by default and i'll add in this one somewhere down here now we will see that it will select that button as being the focus and i can actually like navigate kind of nicely up and down here with my up and down keys and i cannot navigate to the left or the right you think okay now we're at this one so i want to move to this one i press the right button this is kind of where it falls apart if they are kind of in a direct line to each other unreal's automatic navigation works well in uh but you can see that we're kind of like th th this is kind of weird right because now i'm stuck with these two and it's it's just a mess so let's take a look at the navigation for everything so if i just press any one of these buttons and i scroll down we actually have a navigation menu here and by default all of these are set to escape which just means that it's going to escape this widget and try to find the next widget it just in screen space that is going to like navigate to and again for the most part especially if you have things like lined up in a proper grid uh, it does a well enough job of that but we can actually say we want this to uh work differently so we can say that we want it to stop navigation so even if we have something uh to like this side of it naturally you want to be able to go back and forth but if i then say well actually no when i go to the left here i want that navigation to stop that just kind of means that it's not going to navigate to anything now i can't go left from here anymore but i can go right so that's what stopping does next up is wrapping and this wraps around the like parent object so in this case that would be something like in a canvas panel that doesn't work that well but if we uh, put this inside of for instance a like horizontal box so let's wrap this with a horizontal box and then we uh, give it a couple more buttons wrap is a little weird because you might think okay i put this to the very right and then if i press right it's going to wrap around to this side again uh wrap is actually something that we will uh put on the horizontal box uh on top of here right so i put a couple of buttons here in a horizontal box to show you if i set the left and the right for this to wrap that will make the selection within this box wrapping around so now you can see that it wraps around to the left and the right side because that is how this uh, vertical or horizontal box rather in this case is set up because it's at left and right to wrapping and everything inside of here uh, can just remain as its default so that is what wrapping does for us now next up after wrapping we have explicit and this is where things become really quite interesting because what if we want the box here to wrap around but when we actually get to this and we press uh, on the right we do want it to go to some specific uh, other widget in this case uh, that would be probably like this widget right or maybe this widget so we can set this up as something uh, that uses explicit navigation you might think okay so i can just select a button not yet no this is a little bit of a weird quirk with the unreal navigation you can only set things to be explicitly navigated to when they don't have that default name. So let's say this will be our uh, test button. We give it a explicit name and now we can choose it. So the default names don't show up in here. When you give something a specific name, you can explicitly refer to it. So now we will be able to escape this box and will explicitly set the focus to this element when we try to press right when we're on that button over there so let's set that up to the right because i did it on next accidentally <laughs> so let's uh, do explicit and then uh, i control z through this as well so we'll just call this button and to the right we'll go uh, to button so now we'll see that if we press right on this thing 
it explicitly goes to that thing that we uh, selected. It doesn't go back when we press left, because we haven't explicitly set up that connection that way. So we have to like weirdly navigate back to this button, and then we can get back there. Uh, but wrapping still works in the other direction here. And that gives us uh, two more things to uh, consider for these. And that is custom and custom boundary. For the most part, uh, custom boundary, I honestly like, don't really care for it. <laughs> uh, this is a custom function that can determine what widget is navigated to only when a boundary is hit. So uh, when I try to like navigate and it doesn't find anything to escape to, it will run that. Custom will just always run a function. So we can make a specific function, and now we can just set up any code that we want here, uh, and the return value will be the widget that we navigate to. So let's, for instance, say that we want to navigate to this, uh, or actually which direction? Okay, to the right. So it would be this. So we can just use this to also kind of work as an explicit, hey, just navigate to this. But obviously we have all the possibilities in the world we get this uh navigation uh which tells us whether or not we just press left right up down next previous or if our navigation uh was invalid as well as having access to all the variables on this entire widget that we can write any super in-depth super complicated navigation logic for saying that if you for instance have less than 50 percent hp and you press right on something that could either select your a potion or select the attack option for some weird reason you design your ui to work like that right uh, if you're less than 50 percent hp you might navigate to the hp potion instead of navigating to the attack by default but if you are over 50 percent hp you probably don't need to heal so you want that navigation to go to your attack button instead you can write any amount of uh, custom logic in here to navigate to whatever you want. What it takes in as a return value is just any widget object. And you can obviously uh, have multiple return paths with all different values that get returned. And again, the uh, custom with boundary kind of just does the same thing. You can select the same types of functions. This will just only run when it tries to escape to a boundary that it doesn't have anything to escape to. So that's the basic idea of widget navigation. Make sure that whatever you're trying to navigate to is focusable, and then you can use these different navigation methods to navigate between your widgets however you like. For the most part, using just this escape uh, by default does a pretty good job. Again, especially if you don't have a messy UI like this where everything is offset from each other. But if you do need to, uh, you can explicitly go to something else as long as that something else has a unique name given to it. And if you really need to, you can set up some custom code. And a very big thank you to all my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help support the channel or get any of the project files in any of my tutorials, there's a link down below to the Patreon page to support me or alternatively as a YouTube member. And a huge thank you to my Cave Big Brain tier supporters, which care more for coding than Impulse Control, Earl Monserville Erno, my Cave Student tier supporters, Oiku, and my Cave Digger tier supporters, Mauricio Ferrias.